This startup investing education segment is brought to you by 10 Capital, where we help startups and investors connect for funding. When embarking on a new investment, it's essential to have a diligence process in place to check the basics. This process will vary from deal to deal based on the risks associated with each one. In most cases, you'll sign a term sheet with funding contingent on due diligence. It helps to tell the company about your diligence process, such as what documents are required, what steps you take, and how long it will be, thereby eliminating the how is it going calls. For documentation diligence, ask the startup for a list of critical documents. If they are not all in one spot, ask the team to put them into a Google Drive folder or create a more secure account. It's common for startups to continually add to their diligence boxes and have many people view them simultaneously, so keeping everything in one place is helpful. The primary documents should be entity filings and articles of incorporation, patent filings, income statement, balance sheet statement, three to five year financial projections, and cap table. Other documents related to the business such as lawsuits, product breakdowns, customer breakdowns, etc. should be requested. Read each document and check to see if it matches what you understand about the deal. Note any differences and ask for clarification. You must review the diligence documents so you understand the business. You may need to sign a non-disclosure agreement for sensitive information. Standard practice to do so is the documentation should be kept confidential even without an NDA in place. For team diligence, thoroughly researching the startup's team is the most critical part of the diligence process. Be with the team and assess their skills. In almost every startup failure, the investor can trace it back to the team not being up to the task. Maybe the task was underestimated by all up front, but with the right team, the company can succeed. Gather references for the CEO and call them up to hear what they have to say about the founder, including management style, how they pivot, and their team dynamics. In most cases, you've heard the CEO pitch, but it's essential to understand the CEO's skill sets, including what is there and what is not. The rest of the team needs to bring the necessary skills to succeed. And finally, for domain diligence, Break down the process into steps. Research the competition to determine the company's position in the marketplace. Check the positioning of the company in the market. Identify the value proposition and how well it resonates with customers. Look at their pricing compared to the competition. And check the industry to see what conditions in which it will grow or decline. Once you've finished diligence and have your questions answered, ask for wiring instructions. Remember, break it down into baby steps. At 10 Capital, we help startups and investors connect for funding. Let's go start up something today.